in this video another kind of active everything vlog. Let's see what we can get into. What's going on guys and guys? Chris with the Body Damn Channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram, at Boddam, and also get the free muscle building guide. It's the first link down below. Just got done with the gym. Honestly, like I'm spent and I just had my eggs, some spinach, a little bit of beans. And one of the things I want to talk to you about today is my fruit choice. And that is a mango. So that's the fruit choice of today. Of course, I'll also get blueberries in my system. But I want to show you a really kind of non-annoying way to eat a mango. Because a lot of times when you get a mango, it looks like this. And you know, you, people peel it with a peeler and it gets all slimy, it's kind of hard to hold on to. So what you really want to do is stand your mango up like this, cut around the actual seed or pit, whatever that thing is, you'll end up with two pieces kind of like this, right? And what you do after that is you take a knife, two cuts this way, however many cuts you want this way, and then what you can do is invert it, right? Now it's not annoying at all. No slimy fingers, and you can just put this up to your mouth, and you can actually use your teeth to get even more mango and uh, waste less, basically, by doing it this way. So this, I'll bring up to my mouth, and I'll eat that cube off right there, then I'll eat that one, that one. But this is a really non-annoying way to eat a mango, and mangoes are really good for you. Of course, in my opinion, they are not as good as blueberries for you. Blueberries are probably the number one, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. That was one of the reasons why I didn't really buy mangoes too much was because it was so annoying to, you know, get into them, right? I, I love mangoes when I go to like breakfast buffets or if I go to like a all-inclusive resort, for example, like I've seen a bunch of mangoes there that are all cut up by somebody else. But when it comes down to me cutting it, it kind of stresses me out. I'm not gonna lie. This method, I learned from a YouTube channel actually called Isabel Page. So I saw that she was cutting it this way and then she inverted the mango. It's a really good way to do it. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. All right, it's officially the next day and I wanna kind of show you, and I think I've showed it in previous videos, but how my mind thinks is, you know, if I'm gonna cook something, I wanna cook two or three things at a time. So here is the base of my first meal of the day. It's just sitting right here had a bed of spinach on a skillet, which was over here, and I had 10 pasture-raised eggs, there they are, and this is the base, you know, here's one meal for one day, that's tomorrow, and then here's for the next day. So now I don't have to spend, you know, extra time cooking breakfast, it's all right here. Now, I will put salsa on top, I'll put a heaping spoon of these sliced jalapeno peppers in each one, it gives great flavor, minimal calories, as you can see right there, but yeah, so this is, you know, the base, I could add beans to it on the side if I want to. It uh, really just depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow morning, if I want to have a banana or have a fruit kind of morning, but with like solid protein, this is how I'm thinking right here. And it takes that type of thinking to get a good physique, a good nice chiseled, you know, rip physique with a good workout program, you know, strategy-based workout program, basically. You know, all you have to do is mess with your diet a little bit, some cardio, some stress reduction, but this is part of the diet, it's not complex, you know? I spent time building it, but I'm also saving time in the future by not building it, if that makes sense. It's another day, another morning. It's about 45 degrees, I'm flanneled up, and uh, got my brother pulled up, got my friend Morgan over there pulled up, and we're about to go have some fun. So, let's go.
woke up early and decided to go to Reveille Peak. And this place is an amazing place because it has a jump line called El Patron, which you can see me riding right here. It's a really hard jump line, actually, so I'm trying to piece it together, and it's going to take many visits to do this. But I went with my friends and my brother, and uh, yeah, just you know, trying to get better, and I try to go with good people. And it's just a lot of fun. It's pretty cool footage as well. Um, we have two bikes side by side. One has an iPhone on some of the pictures. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. And there's my friend Morgan right there, and he's shredding it up. But at the end of this, I'll show you a run that he fully does. It's the full run, and it's pretty hard to achieve all of the jumps. I don't even think he got to the very last one. He couldn't complete that one. That's how hard it is. But anyway, we're having a lot of fun and uh, just practicing all sorts of stuff. It's always good to be super, super active and uh, involve your family and your friends because that's what it comes down to. That's how you find, you know, that flow state is by having a lot of fun with your friends. So here's Morgan's run and I'll let it play. A lot of fun, always great to go with people that are much better than you. And that way you can learn a lot faster on anything, right? And the same goes for fitness. You know, if you're kind of thinking as fitness is a daunting kind of thing, go with someone that knows a little bit more than you. Go work out with them, whatever. Look at my second link down below. You know, take a look at my extensive strategic workout programs. Um, that way you can have someone that's already done it and been down that road uh, teaching you how to, you know, get better. And I do that kind of philosophy in my life. I mean, when I want to get better at something, I get around people that have already done it and that are proficient. But yeah, I'm about to get my first meal of the day. Uh, you know, the fasting thing. Usually my first meal starts at noon and then I close my eating window off at eight. But I'm about to film a video here. It's gonna go live today actually, so using this camera facing that direction. By the time you see this video, that video should already be up on my channel. But it's gonna be talking about what it feels like to be in great shape and I think it's a really relevant kind of video to make. Yeah, sure, the title will be kind of a wacky title, you know, uh, but the video, the intention of the video is to show you what it feels like to really, you know, have a good physique and, you know, what is everyday life like for me? Like, how do I feel? Um, and it's much like watching a video where someone's a millionaire and they're talking about what does it feel like to be rich, for example. Like sometimes you just wanna know those feelings before you maybe go down that road or something like that. So I'm gonna make that video right now and then get into my first meal and I'll show you guys that. All right, first meal of the day, we have this plus a smoothie. I'll build the smoothie here in a second, but we have five pasture-raised eggs on a bed of spinach with some nice little pickled jalapenos, I think that's what they're called, um, and some salsa on top. I'm gonna to put an avocado on the top of this because you know I gotta have that healthy fat and then I'll build a smoothie today, probably a blue bomber. So I'll show you that. And then I'll be working on editing the video I just shot. Another video I'm filming today is how to attain more peace and less anxiety. Now you might be thinking, I don't need to hear about that. What does that have to do with fitness? Honestly, when you have less anxiety and you have, let's say, more self-worth and more peace in your life, you'll have less stress. You'll have less cortisol production, which leads to having a nice lean physique. It's part of the puzzle. It's not everything, but it helps a ton, all right? So I'll be filming that video today as well. It'll probably go up on Wednesday. By the time you see this, that video may or may not be up, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna edit these videos and like the order they're gonna come out. But I know that the first one definitely will be what it feels like to have a great body, like how, what it feels like every day, like to be you know, someone with a good physique. If you have suggestions for videos that you want me to film, please put that down below because I want to see that. Um, I've had, you know, from Instagram, I've asked the same question a week ago and I've had some responses that have inspired some of the videos that I'm filming. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for all that, whoever follows me on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get to that Blue Bomber smoothie. I'm going to eat these eggs and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. All right, so I've decided against the Blue Bomber smoothie. I know, I'm gonna have that maybe in two or three hours uh, before I go on a bike ride or something like that. Instead, I'm going to have some oatmeal, which is almost done. From Costco, I use these gluten-free rolled oats. 
a cup of that in a bowl and then a cup of water in the bowl in the microwave, two minutes, 30 seconds, you'll have some good oatmeal. Let's take a look. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna add a cup of blueberries on there, two scoops of vegan protein, which is down there somewhere. And then uh, I'll put a little bit of honey on top. I'll add about a half cup to a cup of water and we'll have a nice congealed type of oatmeal. It'll look different. Obviously it won't look like oatmeal because it'll be almost bluish purplish because of the blueberries. But having frozen blueberries in the hot oatmeal, it'll cool it down quick. I can start eating it immediately. The protein from the eggs plus the vegan protein that I'm eating. This meal, this first meal of the day is probably sitting at like 60, grams of protein, maybe 70, right? In a carb sense, whatever a cup of oatmeal is, I don't know, maybe 40, 40 to maybe 50 grams of carbs, maybe maybe higher. It's also some spinach, but that's not really, you know, super high. Um, and then the honey. So I'm not one to count macros or anything like that, but I want to make sure that my, most of the meals that I eat are, they have a high amount of protein in them, but I'm not afraid of carbs or anything like that. I do expend a lot of energy while I do bike rides or skateboard or whatever, and I need that energy, you know, I need those carbs. And while I'm preparing my meals, watching one of my favorite YouTubers right here, this is, uh, he goes by Coach Greg, but this is Greg Doucette. He is a very popular YouTube channel, talks about all kinds of cool stuff quite a funny personality as well. So yeah, watching that, I get inspired by all kinds of stuff in life and sometimes it's books, sometimes it's YouTube channels. Uh, but yeah, I think that channel is a great one. You should definitely follow it, Greg Doucette, D-O-U-C-E-T-T-E -T -T -E or something like that. You can get a lot of good tips from that channel. All right, let's put it together. So it'll look like this. When you start putting it together, the honey is already in there. I wanna come around the side of the bowl, you know, to make sure that the water hits the protein and starts making it less powdery, obviously. But this is how I am making that oatmeal. And it's almost, you know, past an oatmeal consistency, leading towards a pudding consistency. That's the way I like it. It'll go down quick. And uh, yeah, watch a little bit more of that video. It will be good to go. So this is pretty much done right there. And then I'll probably have a mango at the end as well. That I'm looking forward to hacking open and eating. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll look at that mango. It, it's got the squish. It's gonna be good. I was looking for the mango and I was like, where is it? It's hiding behind the blueberries. Look at this guy, he's trying to escape. Dude, the death of the mango is imminent, little mango. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Let's see if I can go from here and get him, let's see. Ha, ah, but I'm much smarter than that. Came from behind, mango, gotcha. Caught a mango, look at that. It's gonna be good. The oatmeal was great. Here's the mango, and I'm gonna hack into it right now. I'm gonna, it'll be off the screen for a second. Ooh, I think I heard it yell. But, it's okay, mango. You'll have a final resting place in my stomach. Ooh, yes. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Squish, squish, squish. This mango's looking good. So, one, two, and then a bunch of hacks this way. I'll do it right here. Oh, that looks good. Just listen. Oh. Take the mango. You've seen this on the video already. And invert it like that. And now we have a perfectly ready mango. Let's take a look. Mm. It's perfect. Where did I get this mango? I got it from a place called H Mart here in town. They had organic mangoes for like six seventy for six of them. Uh, they come in a little protective little mango case too, which is nice, so they don't get bruised or anything. So, yeah, mango success, and I'm feeling pretty full now, but I always have room for mango, for real. So now, time to go film more videos and I'll open up the camera later. All right, getting some videos done. We're like two hours down the way and uh, I made kind of like a, a blue bomber-ish kind of smoothie right here. In this smoothie, we have two scoops of vegan protein, a cup of blueberries, actually maybe more of a cup, a cup of blueberries, frozen blueberries, uh, one banana and ice and water. That's it. Yeah, it's really good. So that, got a little pro probiotic tablet right here. 
and I will go ride a bike here in a second. So in a pinch, this is a good thing to make. See if you can make it at your house and definitely get one of these like Nutri Ninja things. These are great. What do you blend your smoothies with? Tell me down below. Is it a Vitamix? Is it a Nutri Ninja? Is it a Nutri Bullet? Let me know. This thing's amazing. All right, you gotta get one of these things. If you're thinking about getting one of these things, just get the Nutri Ninja one, it's, it's good. All right, further along in the day, I'm gonna make some pre-made meals here and this is what I'm working with right now. We have an Aroma Professional Plus making rice. I picked this thing up off Craigslist Marketplace for 10 bucks the other day. I think you can get them for like 30 on Amazon Prime. There is two cups of rice in here and then I uh, filled it up to like to the level two inside. And I don't know what that's gonna yield later when it's all you know soaked up and the rice is actually plump and it starts expanding. But my guess is probably between four and eight cups of rice. So that's gonna be primary carb right there. We're gonna do some tofu for protein. We also have some bison right here, some ground bison that you can see. I bought that from Costco. Get two of those packs for I think 20 bucks or so. I've been using these kind of spices, some taco seasoning, some garlic salt, some organic no salt, so yeah, and some black pepper. So this is what's gonna go on that skillet right there. I'm gonna put the tofu and the bison together and just chop it up with a little spatula, get it ground. Even though it says it's ground, you still gotta get into little ground pieces and so same thing with the tofu. After I'm done with that, I'll basically take a cup of water, maybe two, and I'll put some broccoli in there um, that I can get maybe five or seven minutes on medium heat, and that should be pretty good as well as the vegetable that I'm gonna be putting with all three of these things for the pre-made meal. I might add some pumpkin seeds as well to get some nice fat in there, and then the day that I pull the meals to eat them, I might put a half to a full avocado in each one. So, when we get these meals done, I'll show you the result. Should be three to four meals out of this right here. All right, we're getting there. Uh, the rice is done. A little pokey on the finger here. Yeah, seems pretty good. Gonna shut the lid, keep it warm. This right here, we have about a cup of water, maybe a cup and a half, and we have it on medium. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, and we got broccoli. It's basically steaming in there. So that should be pulled out in a second. I definitely wanna take the broccoli out when it's still nice and green. I don't want it to change colors or anything like that, and so if you leave it steaming too long, it starts getting super soft, which is great but it also starts to change colors and lose some of its nutrients and stuff like that, so I don't want that. I wanna keep it nice to where I can kinda of cut through it pretty easily right now while it's still soft, and then that way when I heat the meals, um, you know, in the next couple of days, uh, it'll be nice and cut up already. But yeah, that's the kind of consistency I'm looking for. Sure, I can get it really soft and make it almost mushy, but then it's really not worth anything at that point for my body, so nice color right here. Nice vibrant green, that's what we're looking for. All right, so each meal has about a cup of rice. I'll probably be eating this meal tonight. This is the one with the most broccoli. So yeah, a cup of rice in each one. We have that bison, we have the tofu under that rice. Kind of see it right there. And then I do one big spoonful of the water on the meat to give it some extra flavor. So this will be tonight's meal. And then I have three meals right here. I could make more but I'm also gonna be hanging out with my girlfriend Wednesday and Thursday, so I'm like kind of calculating that, and you know, it's not cool to hang with your girl. And just be like, hey, I got pre-made meals for us, that's what we're gonna eat all day long. Like, so, um, you know, usually we'll make something together. I don't wanna be making pre-made meals till, you know, the end of the weekend. Um, I'd rather, you know, make enough for today, tonight, tomorrow's meals, and maybe the first one on Wednesday. So that's good enough. And I'll also put, you know, maybe some pumpkin seeds or some avocado on top the day of, and I can put some extra salsa if I decide, if I want some extra kick. But it should be good right now. It's a little bit on the bland side more than likely, but it gives me the option to customize it later when I pull it for the day. Like if I want this one to have maybe a teriyaki kind of sauce on it, that one can have a little low calorie barbecue sauce. This one can be more salsa oriented or something, you know. That's how I think about it. There's a lot of variability in what I eat and I try to, you know, whatever I feel that day, at least I have a good base of stuff. And then the sauce can be kind of anything it wants to be, depending on what I'm looking for. And yeah, this Aroma Professional Plus right here, it's the first time I've used it. Look at this, nothing stuck to the pan. I'll do a quick rinse of this, it'll be ready for the next one. And two cups of rice, so two actual cups of rice, all right, dry rice. And then I filled this thing to the number two level, which 
So whatever you put, however much rice you put in there, you, you put water up to whatever level corresponding to the cups. So if I had put six cups of rice in here, then there's a number six right here. So I have to fill the rest with water till it gets to number six. I put it in this thing, shut the lid, turn it on and stick white rice, brown rice, whatever I want. And it just does it on its own. My first time using it, so I can't like swear by it yet, but uh, you know, for the ease of use and the fact that it didn't cake rice all up on the walls of this thing. So I don't have to spend a million hours cleaning it. That's already a huge plus. Okay, so we're further along in the day and I'm actually consuming the first of the pre-built meal right here. And it tastes delicious. Now you can see it has a reddish tint to it. And that's because I put marinara sauce on it, about a half a cup of Arabiata marinara sauce, which is like a hotter type marinara sauce than normal. Uh, but everything is good. Tastes amazing. I just remembered I haven't put half an avocado in there and I need to do that. So you can kind of see how pre-making your meals makes it easier for dinner. Instead of me searching around for, you know, things to put together over and over for meal after meal after meal every dinner. I can do like things like this and same goes for lunch. I don't have to be searching around, spending money out there, buying things from places, even though I do it sometimes, but buying things from places where maybe I throw out 10 or 15 bucks and I still don't know all the ingredients that are in the foods, for example. So I try to limit myself on how much I do that. Another reason why pre-made meals is a great idea. So I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna put half that avocado in there. But I'm gonna get this meal done and we'll see what happens next. Yeah, workout was good today, good this morning. We didn't know it was here, so you're allowed that. Kind of an interesting observation is that because there were certain squat racks and stuff that were taken up and I was, you know, everything has to proceed in a certain order. You know, that's just how workouts are built, but I couldn't foreseeably get an open squat rack for a while, which three of the movements on today's workout had to be done in the squat rack. So I was jumping around basically. And I noticed that just jumping around, here and there, it's like the things at the tail end of the workout that were supposed to be, you know, I did it at, towards the beginning and the things in the middle I did towards the end. And it's like all sorts of just things were messed up. So anyway, that's just how it is. And sometimes when you go prime time, gym time, you know, it's hard to find the equipment that you need sometimes. And that's why I try to stack a lot of things at like the squat rack when I'm there finally, you know, I have three or four exercises at a time there. But today was just one of those weird days where there were a lot of people in the gym and <laughs> those squat racks were open. So it was, it was really terrible. But about to head out of the house, got me a smoothie built right here. It's not really a blue bomber, but it's a uh, banana berry mix, all the stuff that I love, chia seeds, flax meal. Um, we have arginine in there. We have three scoops of vegan protein up top. Um, we have a probiotic tablet in there, a, a cube of ice. I'm gonna blend it up right now. That smoothie's for about an hour, maybe two hours from now. And I'm gonna go ahead to Central Austin. I'm gonna put a bike on top of my car. I'll get a, uh, a ride in with my good friend, Matt, around 4.30, so that's nice. Always try to get outside every single day doing some sort of like high intensity or low intensity cardio, which I love to do. It's very important to do that kind of stuff. The place we'll be riding today is called Town Lake. It's a really amazing place here in Austin, Texas. It's a big trail that goes around the lake that runs to the center part of town. So we'll show you a little bit of that when I get down there. But that's the plan so far, is to ride, and it's a kind of a cloudy day, which is kind of nice, you know, 70, 75, 78 degrees. I'm not complaining. All right, so I am here at the Zilker parking lot for a park here, and it looks kind of eh, but Zilker Park's actually pretty nice. I'm here with Matt. There's Matt. What's up? There's the bike that I basically one year ago told him to buy, and he likes it. Badass. <laughs> you like it? All right. Hell yeah. Um, and so we're gonna go ride here uh, on the Town Lake Trail, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take out the cell phone camera and do all the video from that because uh, I don't want to bring this big thing around. So, yeah, what am I riding today? This is a four, well, I think I'm about 60 bucks into this bike. I do a lot of thrifting in the background. Yeah, this is a Gary Fisher kind of interesting bike and uh, it's a cool blue scheme. Wind's blowing everywhere, ah! But we're gonna go ride, knock it out, get our little cardio in, a little low intensity cardio. Perfect day for a ride. I love overcast days in town. I mean, I like really sunny days too. I ain't gonna lie, but overcast days, interdispersed, I love them. It's good. It was a 
great ride. Good to see Matt. And that's the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you got some tips or something like that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next Bob Damn video. I got a pizza coming out of the oven here in one second. Take it easy. Goodbye.